Hi, I'm Jason Hatzma, guitar instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In this YouTube video, we're going to go through the verse riff for the, really, really it's like banjo and mandolin and all this stuff, but we put it on guitar to really make it work for our five-piece arrangement. I'm going to teach you that in this lesson. Now, if you want the full lesson with all the other parts, the acoustic guitar, bass, drums, keys, which adds that cool little bagpipe part, which is awesome, um, I highly recommend going to WorshipArtistry.com and go click that W in the lower right-hand corner. But if you just want to stay on YouTube, let's go ahead and dive in. Now this song is really, as far as guitar goes, it's all about this little lead riff that's happening through the verse. I'm just going to play the whole thing through for you so you can get the feel for it, and then we'll talk through the changes. So you see it's repetitive, it has kind of a funky feel to it. We're starting off on this fifth fret, our pointer finger is going to be on the fifth fret of the B, and we're going to, we want to roll, we don't really want to bar, because we're not trying to hear those notes at the same time. So we're going to roll from that fifth fret of our B, hammering the seven, and then moving over to the fifth of the E. And then work our way back to the seventh fret of the B, so. So that's like the first part. And from there, our riff is going to change. We're going to go fifth fret, hammer to seven, pull off, and drop down to three. So one more time. Then from here, our ring finger, is, once we've slid down here, our ring finger is going to reposition us on the fourth fret, and we're going to pluck and pull off to the second fret of the G twice. And land back to that B. So once again. And then finally. So after here, we're going to go with that pinky on the fifth fret pull off to three, slide up, and then you can either pull off or just pluck it either way. So once again, and then you're back in. You do that twice. Then when we change chords to that G, We're going to do a little hammer on, going from 2 to 4 on the G, landing that B in the 3rd fret, then we'll pluck the 4, slide up, and reach back to hit the 3rd fret of that B, which sounds a little bit dissonant, but totally works within the context of the song, especially at the speed, so you get that. So you're going to do the same riff, up to 7. And you can either reach back to that third like I do, or if that's too much of a stretch for you, just hit that twice, because that's the same note. Because in the very next one, we're sliding from seven to nine, and then that puts us in position. To do that riff. So one more time, that run up from the G. Pointer finger goes to our seventh fret of our E. And we're just walking down from seven, tenth of the B, down to seven. Then we're going to drop back, doing our riff, the same riff we did before, that little trill. And finish out the same way. So, one more time, nice and slow. The whole section is going to go like this.
So that's the riff that you're playing through all the verses. So I have a loop down below in all three speeds so you can really get the feel for it. It's really a feel sort of a thing. You just kind of want to get that groove happening. And once you've got it, it should really fall into place. So check out the tabs, the loops. Once you've got that, let's look at that chorus. <laughs> 